All right. Good morning. We are live. Today is May 27th, and uh, we have our usual Saturday webinar, and I have with me Douglas, JD, Kim, Leela, Marlene, Sher, Stephanie, Wendy, and Jim and his crowd in the room. And the room is uh, Angela. Astrid is here from New Hampshire. Say hi, Astrid. Hi, everybody. And uh, Barbara and uh, Ray. Wonderful. Can I see Astrid's face today? Yeah, come on over. <laughs> so, so Hello. Astrid, thank you very much for your organization of the workshop. It was great help. Oh, you're most welcome. More to come. Hey, everyone. Yes. It's wonderful to have her here. We've been doing a lot of talking. It's wonderful. We have a, it's, it's just really nice. Love it. So, so the workshop is going to be in August. And to find out about workshop, go to hukula.org. Hukula and as, as um, Jonathan said, hakala. So hakala.org. And um, people ask, you know, where do you find the, the time for the webinar? It would be nice, right, to have one place where the time for webinar is announced. So that's a place. I mean, I updated. That's my main place where I keep the calendar up and I place the links and instructions and everything. It's all there. Okay. Very that's good. All, all my announcements. Do we have any, anything else to Thanks. announce? Uh, not at this moment, but I'd like to ask if anybody has an opening prayer. I don't want like a whole lot of people, but a couple. Anybody? Yes. yes. You? Yes. Yes. Ray will do one. Anybody out there? We can do one. Uh, another one. Oh, okay. So I have two here. All right. Come on up. Yeah, I'm here. Oh, oh, okay. Go ahead. Raymond, we'll start. You can't see him, though. <laughs> may the light of creation bless your journeys, and may you see what you need to see to further your progression. Love is around you, and know that. Believe. Amen. 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 Thank you. That's good. I like that. I'll see if, okay. All right. Let's see if I'm a little nervous. I can't wait. That's okay. Let's see Go if ahead. it comes through. Yes, yeah, God. That's not coming through. That Let's is. It was okay. Yes. Let light guide you and let all wisdom be your guide as well. Know that we are with you in spirit and prayer and that we will help you on your way. Very nice. Very good. Did they hear me? Yes. Mm -hmm. I don't know if they heard you, but, but uh, that's Yes, you yes. Said. You were good. You were good. <laughs> oh, you were good. It was just Thank fine. You. Excellent. All right. And who would you like to hear today? Any requests? Lacerta. Lacerta is a female reptilian. We're not sure where from, but she's friendly and good. Anybody else? How about Grindel? Grindel, okay. Yay, Grindel. Uh, <clears throat> Jim, do you know if the government meeting already to, took place? Maybe to curve some updates? I was going to say to curve. Oh, the meeting? The meeting is starting the 31st of May. Uh, tomorrow. Oh, okay. Uh, so it hasn't started yet. But they are preparing quite a lot. They are doing a lot of preparation. And there is some humans going along as usual, as always, to be supportive and let the nations know that there are humans that are supporting the aliens in their projects and in their uh, integrity and things of that nature. 
Um, I would like to ask someone from the Mayan culture or something like that, or the Kuhu Khan and uh, Lord Pakal and all of that uh, culture from that side of the world. Okay, very good. I would like to ask for Lady Pallas Athena. What's the name? Pallas Athena. Athena? Yes. Athena. Paulus Paulus Athena. Athena? Yes. All right. Is she a Greek a Greek goddess? Uh, yes. Oh, she is. Okay. Uh, what is about Ganesh, Hindu god? Oh, Ganesh. Okay. I know who that is. And there was a request for the person that went with the highest message as well. We have that request as well. So I don't know who's coming today, but uh, this morning's prayers were very strong and had a lot of energy to them. So I don't know who's coming, but I have a feeling they have a strong message, or at least I hope so. Um, and... Uh, uh, I would just do, is, is there anybody else out there? Okay. Good morning, everyone. And I will do a meditation now, and um, I will be back later. I pray that you have a wonderful session today. Much love. Much love. Wonderful. Thank you. May all love and joy be with you. This is Ganesh. Hello, hey, how Ganesh. are you today? Wonderful, hello, thank you for coming, we love you. We love you as well. There are many of us here to listen to your questions and to feel your presence. There are much changes going on on your planet. Your world is changing as each day goes by. There is something new and something different to report. And I could not even begin to tell you how this is affecting many things, including the ascension process. But keep that away from your minds in the sense that the ascension process is not what you should be thinking about but you should be thinking about your own process of development and becoming greater, more loving, more connected, and more aware. Now, as you become more aware of love and the energy that it is, that it can give to the world, world then the ascension is fine and you need not worry about it so you need to worry about yourselves and the energy that you are giving off into the world the fire that you are spreading in this time and not worry about bigger things because bigger things will come from the smaller things when you bring many fires together then you have a larger fire Look at the sun. Is it one fire or is it many fires? There are more than one flame there. There are more than one energy source there. And there is more than one heat source there. So therefore, when you look at something like the sun, you only see one light. 
but it is made up of many things and made up of many different lights that are smaller and fires that are igniting one after the other infinitum. And that is what the people of Earth and the people of the universe should be interested in their own fire and igniting that to be part of the whole. Now, there will be some fires that are greater than others, but that is the way that it is. Some fires will burn greater and some fires will just add to the flame. Do not worry about which one that you are, but worry about that the flame continues and that it is part and parcel of that which must be. And you are doing a wonderful job in many cases. However, I know that there is great negativities out there that would try to squelch the fires that are starting to burn brightly. They would come and say, oh no, this fire is too big. We need to bring that down so that it does not help uh, the ascension in a great way. You see, they are looking to stop that which you are trying to start. Not that it has not been started, it has been started, but now you must keep it healthy. Fuel the fire of the ascension by being the example of it. And do not be talking about, oh, how, what other people are doing, but Look inwardly right now to see what you are doing, what example you are giving, what fire is coming from you, what love is coming from you, what beauty is to be had from your example. And this is the greatest of the needs to this day. Now, some of you will be, expel, uh, uh, be speaking wisdoms, information, power, healing, and these things are all part of the fire that comes from you. So do not let it fall away, but yet bring it out in its greatest forms. Heal as many times as possible with the most positive attitude as possible, and be the example. Yes, be an example. I know there are many people people out there that says, I am being a good example. I am doing the things that I should do. But remember to look inward as well to see that all the things that are coming out are in the right vein, in the right temperament, in the right vocals, in the right attitude of furthering positivity. Now, I am one of great joy and understand that there are many out there that have great difficulties because there are negativities in third dimension that are very difficult to come through. However, you will make it through with the help of the fire of others, with the help of the positivity that is coming your direction now. Accept it. Do not wallow in things that, that you do not want to be part of. Do not accept on yourself those things that are not true for you. You may see yourself in a negative light sometimes, but you must shed that because you are not born to be of a negative nature. You are born to be of a positive enforcement of light, and love, and beauty. Ah, it is so nice to see that many of you agree with that. But there are a few out there that are saying, oh, if they talk about light and love one more time, I'm going to tramp, be trampled by Ganesha's big feet. But do not worry about this. There are those that will come about. They will understand that the truth is yet to be fully on fire for them. 
but we can help each other with this process. Do not be put under by the thoughts of positivity if you're not feeling them right at this second. Do not put yourself down for not feeling them, but yet just accept that they are part of what needs to be accepted in your life. And speak the words of positivity, though you may not feel them at this moment. I know many of you say, I'm a realist. I would like to speak what is real, but is not love a real thing? Is not positivity a real thing? Is not moving up and making the world a better place a real thing? It is, and you must participate in that reality. And if you are not participating yet, then pray that God will give you the ambition or the light or whatever is needed to participate and move forward in this light and in this love. Are there questions? Yes. Hello, Ganesh. Sheer. Do we know each other? I know from the name that is written on the screen. Ah, okay. Well, just to clarify, you are the Hindu god that looks like an elephant with four hands? Well, yes. Ah, well, I have a figure of you right here in my hand. Someone gave it to me once, and I think I had another one for some reason is from all of them. No, this one is uh, brown. Ah, beautiful. <laughs> Much like my original color. Ah, so I found it funny that synchronicity. Um, I was wondering, there were some talks about the 25th of uh, May, two days ago. They said that it's a significant date according to the Mayan calendar, even uh, more significant than the 2012, uh, the end of the year. Do you have anything to say about that? And what made it more significant to you? Uh, I just read a couple of uh, articles and friends talked about it. Uh, I had good energies that day, but I didn't really understand if it's just one to clarification, what was it? There was changes that were going on in the timeline. I know that people are confused about timelines, and so I do not like to really talk about these things, but there has been changes in the timeline within the last couple weeks. And the 25th was a significant change, but I do not want to go into that right now because you will not see the uh, outcome of it for quite a while. Okay, so just to understand, are we here that we are listening to you right now I want the <clears throat> positive uh, outcome of that uh, timeline. I know that you can go to different uh, timelines. So are we in the good timeline? This was an unexpected change. However, the Mayans seem to have known something about it back then. So therefore, it was a, an unpredicted change by many, but the Mayans seem to know something about it but they did not mention what it was about the timeline that would be changing. However, they mentioned other things about that particular day that you read about. Okay, and one more thing. There were also a couple of talks in Nightwalkers communities that recently, I think this week, um, Syrians have been taking cabal head-on because certain rules and regulation were expired or something like that? Do you know anything that about was, it? Um, it is true that the Syrians are here to put the cabal in order. Okay. Thank you for the clarification. And I was wondering if we have a connection. I feel, I feel a, f a friendly energy and I always 
saw your figure as something very positive, like I know it. You have within you the energy of the thoughts that I bring forth to many people, which is positivity, beauty, love, and understanding. You are trying to uh, move into your mission in a greater way at this time, and I am one that is always looking in a positive way to move forward. And so we do have that in common, and some past lives, but not the ones that you may think. But we have been together more than once in a creator element in perhaps another universe. Uh, okay, I understand. Thank you very, very much, and much love to you. Much love to you as well. Lila had a question. Greetings, Ganesh. Here is your servant, Lila Manjari. And Greetings. Greetings, my lord. I really miss you. And uh, I have a question. Um, it, when I start to channel, would you be able, would it be possible that I could uh, channel you? If you would like to channel me, that is possible. But remember this, before you channel anyone like myself, you must pray and remove all negativity from your thought process at that time and bring in only the thoughts of love and purity and bring, take reality out of the picture because I am not part of your reality and I am not part of the human nature at this time and I would only come into the purest of places and right now I have come here because I needed to speak of the purity the understanding and the wisdom and I see that you are one that will be someone that I would want to talk to and speak through my idea was to channel to spiritual groups they are worshipping uh, your father, they are worshipping Krishna and Ram. And yes. I would like to speak to those devotees of Hindu gods as a channel. So that was my reasoning why, why, why I would choose you, because everybody knows you and nobody yeah. will ask questions who you are because they already knew and have connection with you. So that that was the idea behind why I would choose you. Yes, much love and I give energy to that thought process. But also remember that there are all those others that are listening. Do not limit yourself with a specific kind of thought process, but that all love and all of eternity is open when you speak the truth well that's great do you have my second question uh, do you have a uh, particular special message for me for mine or how how can i progress in better way or what do i do wrong what should i what should i concentrate at this point to make a better progress keep your example very brilliant pure and loving I know that you have a tendency to be very real also, and that is not a bad thing. But remember that people are sensitive, fragile, and love can lift them up. But criticism can also burden them and break them. You know how it is when you are criticized and you feel that others can be cruel. Remember, to shake that off and only bring the purity of love and wisdom to your words when speaking to others. Do not judge or do not make um, them any part of anything negative. I am sure your, your thought processes are of the highest nature, but humanity and third dimension creeps in sometimes and brings harshness to even the greatest lovers of humanity and the greatest lovers 
of God and Krishna. That is so true. I have to be gentle with humans. Uh, it is I, true. I'm going, I'm going to work on that. You may yes. be harsh with the creator beings. You may be harsh with deities because we are not offended and we are not broken because we know from which you speak and how your heart works and how the soul is burning and what the flame means to us but those around you are fragile and you must treat them as eggs that are hatching and you should not bring any sudden jolts to them lest they break open too early and do not come to fruition that is so true you know me my lord the best i am going to accept this wonderful advice and work seriously on and all glories to you and thank you for coming through i love you deeply and know that your heart is in the right place and the right attitude to move forward in in a great way and i love that and i thank you for listening to me and purifying yourself in the fire of righteousness goodness and wisdom and especially love thank you zikarata i have several more Who else has a question yes Hello. Uh, hello, Ganesh. It's Elena. My question Greet. is greetings. My question is uh, general, not so personal. I would ask: Would you consider yourself in a future time uh, evolving into something else? Can people forget about um, such existence of of age, Asian gods, and do they transform in, in something else in the future? Transformation is always happening. Change is always happening. I am only perceived by some as this figure, but in other lands and other places, I have other faces and other personas. But the one persona that comes always to me is one of joy, laughter, love and compassion and therefore that is the face that i would like to show do not see me as an elephant or a man or a deity but see me as an energy that must continue and is teaching the universe how to view itself and how to improve itself one with another look not upon me as one personality but look upon me as a kindness that must be shared with others not a face but a spirit of love generosity kindness I do not speak of myself in these terms to make myself haughty or big or overwhelming, but only to tell you that I am a servant and humbled before you because of these feelings and these energies. They are greater than any persona. They are greater than any one being or any deity other than the great krishna or god or whoever you want to put in the great spot of all things but yes transform me if you will into what it is that you need and i shall be your servant thank you much love much love Mark, Mark. Mark. He's coming. 
Do you wish to speak? Still not so, no sound, Mark. There is something wrong. We can see him waiting. Well, I should say a technical okay. error. <laughs> Let me see. Uh, is anybody on the phone who cannot type? So, uh, any, any other questions from other people in the audience or from Jim's room? One one moment please there is thoughts out there that are beautiful and expansive and people that are improving leaps and bounds in every month that they live they are trying to move forward and trying to expand their love and their wisdom and kindness thank you for that and thank you for your great attempts remember with love when you look at each person see them in the space that you might occupy at one time in the past where you may not have been such a loving person at one time but are now moving into a greater existence look at all people as if they can move into this existence with you. Do not look at them as someone below you, but look, look at them as someone above you that you can rise up to and show them the things that are there that are necessary and, and in your fullness with your humility show them in a way that will bring them a great amount of love for themselves and for you as well. I know I do not speak very clearly sometimes, but I am wanting you to know from a place of humility is where you should approach most people who do not have the love that you have. Because from a place of humility, you may show them the example that they may not have. Well, thank you. Um, yeah, that, that's it's hard for me. Yeah. And anyway, uh, I wanted to ask, what's your connection to elephants? What is my connection to what? Elephants. Well, my father, I was human. And he was angered at me and he cut off my head. But his wife was very, very upset, my mother. And so he replaced it with an elephant head. This is the best that I can do right now for explanation. It, it is much deeper than that, of course. But that, just to let you know where the elephant head comes in. I see. Um, what is the dimensionality of, of our aliens? How smart are they? Are they like four-dimensional aliens? No? Who are you speaking of? Uh, our elephants, like the species of elephants, the animals. Are they of animal kingdom or are they higher? They look very smart. Elephants are very interesting because they have a great amount of grounding with Mother Earth. They are smart, instinctive animals and protective. And that is another thing that is part of my nature, is that I am a protector of Gaia. Wow. Uh, are there elephant Aliens? Are you connected to elephant aliens? I am connected to all things in the universe. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, are there any other questions? I, Elena, would like to ask in which dimension uh, do you exist right now? Because maybe you said it and I came a little bit later, so thank you. I did not get that question. Was there a question there? What's, what's your dimensionality? I'm in spirit at this time.
Any more questions? Yes, I have a question. Here is Dila again. Uh, Ganesh, yeah. could you could you connect to your father and maybe he got some message for me? Advice or message? Ah, Shiva. Yes. One moment and I will see if father is around. Thank you. He is always around. But I mean around. If he wants to speak, sometimes he is not in a place to speak. I know. But he may be at this time. We will see. One moment. Thank you. <laughs> Ah. You learned your lessons from me, didn't you? <laughs> I am Shiva. I am a little more gruff. I have a little more energy that does not match all the things that my son has spoken about. But I work through it. But I am myself. You are much like me in the sense that you are practical and pragmatic. You see things the way that you think it should be seen. And there is little room for change, except for if it can be proven. Ah, and that is the way I am. You must prove it to me before I will change. You must prove it to me before I can see the greater understanding. But let me tell you something from this vantage point. There are many things to learn in the universe. Many indignities and many things that do not belong within me that I had to shed, that I had to expose to myself before I could see it clearly. You know of what I talk of, do you not? I do. And I and agree. So therefore, you and I work out cleansing in the same way. Continue to do so. And be of great joy and love and understanding. Krishna knows who we are and brings us into a light that is purifying, loving, but yet he is gentle with you, is he not? Always. Always. And so therefore I have learned to be gentle with others as well. A blessing to you for God, Krishna, that are calling the name that have many names. The one who has many names, that's the way I should say it. The one who has many names, be with you. Thank you, Lord. Any more comments, questions? I have a question, I guess. Um, and that is what? Uh, my, uh, our friend uh, Slava, his mother is sick and they have to, she has to make a decision where to go, undergo a major operation, surgical operation in Russia. And she's not sure because the diagnosis is not clear. I invite uh, advice and healing. She must do this for her own good. For the the clearing of her energy fields as well as for the removal of this negative process. I do not know exactly what it is, but I can sense that it is causing an energy drain, an energy loss, and it must be done. I will send her healing energy and confidence to move forward, for she must do this. 
Wow. Thank you. I have a question, Lord Shiva. Uh, it is possible that because I'm such a bad dancer, I'm, but I wish in my dreams I do dance in the skies. It is possible in the future eternity that uh, I could learn some dancing steps from you? First of all, there is no bad dancers. There is only the thought that the dancing looks bad. But any kind of dancing for joy and for any kind of dancing for beauty and blessing will be honored. And your dancing to many is a greater beauty than you may understand. For everyone dances differently. But your dancing is that of joy and love. Do not be self-conscious. Let go and be who you are in the dance. Fill it with joy and confidence, light and love, and I will train your feet to be lighter than air. Wonderful. Could you could you tell us to the uh, to the audience uh, something about because you are a famous dancer and uh, could you yeah. tell us something about your dancing? What would you like to know about it? Why I dance? Why I dance and what do you feel when you dance? I feel joy. I feel great joy and I feel light and lightness because when I dance it's for joy and for blessing and for to let people know that God, Krishna, whoever is upon me and that I am just giving thanks for the opportunity to show my gratitude. Did you have the teacher or all comes just from your love expression? Ah, no one needs to be taught how to dance. But, of course, there were others that I looked to and saw how they danced. And I took bits and pieces from other people and other, other dancers. Wonderful. Thank you. You're welcome. Shiva, here is yeah. Ele Elena speaking. Um, I really liked how you described yourself and, um, and Liwa because I'm really very pragmatic and uh, practical person as well. A little bit harsh, but I always know it's fair and, and with a positive intent. So and I invite you and to co-create together in the Astro. Thank you and much love. There is all kinds of people and deities in the universe with different personalities and we are not all perfect and we are not all what is expected us to be. Sometimes we do have our inconsistencies and we do have those things about us that need to be improved. But when we show ourselves as who we are and give our examples, do you not learn how to be a better person from the very honesty that we give to you? Oh yes, my, I was not the kindest and I did hurt many, but I was learning. And I was growing. And now I see things differently than I did a million years ago. But sometimes it takes a million years. And sometimes it only takes a realization for change. And what causes the realization is usually an example from others that has been powerful and filled with truth. Yes, thank you.
there is someone else that wants to come. Are you ready for them? Yes. Very well. One moment. And blessings to all of you. Remember, you must be yourself in all honesty. But if that honesty shows fault, you must find the truth about it. Much love. Much love. Much Thank love. you, Lord. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Uh, Celebrity. Yeah. Yeah, yeah really? hold on. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's a hard act to follow. Yeah. <laughs> I should have come first. <laughs> Everybody always pushes me back. Yeah, dear, I'm here. Hello. Blessing Hi, to everyone. Yeah. Hello. And I have a lot of work to do in Israel still. Changes every day in the earth and the way people are, are reacting to many things. The energies are surprisingly strange at this time. The, uh, the solar flares, does everybody know about solar flares? Yes. Yeah. Do you know that you're in the midst of them right now? Yes. yes. Do you know that they're affecting the attitudes and emotions of people on the earth? Yes. Um, be aware that things outside of your world, energies that are coming in, are affecting how you feel, uh, your daily routines, your bodily functions even sometimes. Some of you. I don't, let's not talk about that too much, okay? All right. Um, but yeah. There's some extreme changes that were not foreseen. The mind calendar that someone mentioned, I was listening in, does not even mention the major changes that are coming uh, or has come within the last few weeks. So I'm not going into that. But there's, I think that you're noticing a change worldwide in attitudes and activities. And, and it's, if you're watching, it can look sort of silly and sort of tragic and sort of weird, but it is happening. So that doesn't mean you have to move to the other side of the world or you have to uh, store up food or anything because when things, Things happen you're not going to be prepared enough to do anything about it but believe me many of you are protected and so you will come through it because you need to you're here for a reason when people are here for a reason God protects them God knows who you are so don't worry you might want to do a little bit more introspection and prayer, but you are protected. I'm not saying it'll be easy, but I do say you will be protected because you have a reason for being here. Yeah. <laughs> now. Yeah, is there any questions? I hope not. You guys have stupid questions usually. I, I don't Hi, Grindel. Who's first? Go yeah. ahead. Yeah. yeah, what do you I, want? I want to Okay, find I had. Oh, one I'm at sorry, a time. Grindel. One at a time, one at a time. Okay. Okay, here's the question. Go in alphabetical order or something. I don't know. Hi, ce Celebrity Grindel. I never talked to you. Yeah. So that is 
That's the first time. My name is Lila Manjari, and I have uh, a. I hope I don't have a too stupid question. So no, I have yeah, to, I'm, I was just making fun of humans. Go oh, ahead. No, no, no. That's that's it's fine with me. I do have a reptilian humor, so I do understand you completely. Ah, go ahead. Okay, so I do have. I have reptilian children, therefore yeah. I can under, therefore I can understand you better probably. So the name is Roha and Arbri. I would you have like, your hands full with reptilian children, but go ahead. I know. So <laughs> I would like <laughs> I would like to know. Do you have? Uh, could you tell me what uh, species they are uh, from? And. Yeah. Uh, message from the parents because the children are very small two and three years old yeah yeah yes hold so, on okay thank you i'll have to connect with them to get a message but go ahead Please. continue so mes um, uh, message okay you talk well one of them is zespot which is my species the other is elias shandai zendi which is a species that is very prominent around the solar, your solar system right now. So uh, they're both friendly species. Uh, well, mine is considered neutral, but we're moving toward the friendly. Yeah, well, sort of friendly, I guess. But um, the Elias Shondai Zendi is considered mo more friendly than us even. And so they are... Uh, so your children are both in, I would say, positive uh, species. And, right. Do the they have a different... Are, the parents are very loving. I know the parents of the Zespod people. Your, your Zespod child. Yeah. I don't remember the names, though. Sorry, I don't remember kids' names. I'm not a real kid person person Not so don't i mean they're okay I, I, I had some of my own so i but you know they're painting the uh the tail if you want to call that or whatever but anyway um yeah they can be challenging so i understand so but i do the, love them yeah i love them yeah right the how long did it, how long the reptilians live I mean, it the depends. Species. Our In species general. lives. Yes, our species lives. Um, it's now. I have to qualify this a little bit because in human years, sometimes I I have a trouble uh, calculating things. But I've done this uh, several times, and the first time I calculated it was like two hundred fifty years. The second time I calculated it was like. Uh, 280 years, so um, around that era. 300 years, all right. Years. Okay. Almost, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Okay, but so... You're, all right, you're, 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 the parents of the, the Zespods, that, I will call them Zespods, is, uh, what do you want to know, their names? Well, my just if you if you connect it to the parents, just how the children are doing, are they healthy, are they fine? Just yeah, general. They're great. The kids are doing great. Okay. They're very happy with them. Very, very happy. Uh -huh. Do they do they know about me? Yeah, of course they do. Every every hybrid child knows who their human parent is. Everyone is told it is part of the rules. Okay, if they are my children, what do they have a similarity with me? Do they have a the look, some look from yeah. the human? They have a somewhat. They have some human features, but they have more uh, reptilian features since uh, two of the parents were reptilian, and only your DNA was introduced. But they have a more human kind of attitude, a brain set, a little bit more kind and thoughtful, a little bit less growly and agitated. 
they don't get as agitated as easily. Wonderful. That is a, that's However, a, whatever. You, uh, your one kid does sort of get a little bit more agitated than the other one. Yeah. Sort of. Yeah. Yeah. Sort of aggressive. Well, I I will have to come over then one day. <laughs> yeah, you'll talk to him. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. 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 What do you want? Who's next? Hi, Crystal. Me. It's Wendy. Wendy. Oh. Yeah. Uh, thank you for coming and explaining what's going on in on the other side of the earth. Yeah, they, um, I understand that they want to extract the gold and they recently just uh, took one of the sleeping giants from that area. Is yeah. there any way at all that that um, indication of any other giants that are a little bit more positive on that side of the earth can help to shift things to make it more uh, well, more stable and more balanced because it's that side of the earth is so off balance. The earth is off balance because they are messing with things they shouldn't be messing with. <clears throat> and that is something that may not be able to be corrected so easily. And about your sleeping giants, I can't tell you where they are because if I mention that, they'll go and get them right away. So I just won't mention that. But they're protected no, now. Since one was taken, the rest are under yeah. a heavy guard. Okay. Yeah. Is there any way that we can um, help with the influence in making things more positive, I'm saying? Yeah, we, we do everything we can to make things more positive. But um, we do everything we can. Believe it. Believe it. But there are those that will try to knock you down and change that positive negativity into negativity. So we're doing all we can, but the situation is uh, this. Let me just put it in very, very simple terms. If we don't get this thing straightened out pretty soon, uh, a lot of people are going to suffer. So we want to make sure we get this under control as quickly as possible. But I can't even explain what it is to you i understand but I want it's against uh, we're not allowed to tell you what it exactly is happening it's not an attack it's not anything like that but your own people are screwy and have done something that is uh, beyond belief so that is what you must know it is from your own people and so it ties our hands to some degree because we are not allowed to uh, interfere in a material way with what's going on. So we have to work outside of the atmosphere in some ways to help with this situation that your people have put you in. Yeah, I understand. Oh, it's crazy. And the machine world is also being used inappropriately in, in helping them to deal with this and helping them go through with their uh, unpositive plans. Is there any way at all you could have sanctions against the machine god? There is nothing we can do when your people are in charge of the machines that are doing what they're doing. Um. We cannot step in and change anything that you are doing to yourselves. And this is something on that level. You are your people, your leaders, your scientists, whatever you want to freaking call them, are doing this to themselves. And so we cannot step in. So you to save you because you are doing it to yourself. It's not like a seismic event or, or a tsunami or something like that. This is something you're doing to yourself and you have to save yourself. Understood, thank you for your time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's all I can really tell you about that, but I tell you more than anybody else because I'm a blabbermouth and nobody can shut me up. 
<laughs> Greetings and blessings, sure. I mean, um, <laughs> I mean, Christine, how's it going, babe? I am doing very well. Um, good. Good, good. You know what I um, meant to ask you, and it slipped my mind, was um, is it possible, since everything is energy, yeah. for us to um, focus either with a Reiki um, um, crystal grids or um, through yeah. love and whatever, if we can focus all of this on the problem spot, such as... Um, yeah. You have to, you actually do have an opportunity as a group to focus your attention on changing the situation, even though you don't know what it is. And it's top secret and all that bull malarkey. Uh, but you, you can send energy to uh, positivity mm -hmm. and making the world a better place and changing the outcomes and all these things. Now, this has changed the fu your future in some ways that cannot be calculated at this time. So that's why it has to be under get under control really quickly. <coughs> you can feel the change. You, many people have already felt the energy change of it. And so send out your vortexes, your energy, your whatever it is that you can send and send it in great amounts and continue to send it day and night. That's how important this is. Okay. Are you, I'm speaking of the violence in the different, um, on the different continents like, uh, Israel, Palestine, or yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. in that sense. Um, I think we've just added another one about worrying about these beings that are being um, messed around with our scientists. Yeah. Um, so um, I'll be thinking about them too. Thank you very much, Grindel. You're welcome. You're welcome. Now they're telling me that I have to shut up. Wait. Wait. Well, hey, Cher, how's it going? Do you have uh, time for one more? Of course, but I have to be careful what I say. Of course. Otherwise, they're going to tie my beak shut. <laughs> yeah. Uh, first of all, David Waller uh, says hi. I'm chatting with him. Yeah, uh, yeah. Do you, have, do you have any thoughts about the planetary body that uh, people are seeing next to the sun? The planetary body next to the sun is something Thing that your people have are responsible for. That's all I can tell you. Nah, too much? All right, sorry. <laughs> um, and I only want to know if there's something that we should uh, talk about. Yeah, there's lots of things we should talk about, but they're going to kick me my ass if I do. No, I mean in a private uh, conversation. Yeah, yeah, I know. We'll we'll talk. Yes. Yeah. Good. And yeah. I'm also doing a couple of things here, so uh, we will talk about it. And I want to yeah. thank you for everything. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. Uh, all right. All right. There was all also right. Ellie wanted to speak. Ellie. Uh, hey, Grindel, baby, how are you? You have What's an up, age... doll face? <laughs> you have an age... Yeah, it looks like a baby doll face on this picture. It is, it is. It is. Ah, oh, cute. Cute. Um, yeah. I, I just wanted to speak about the solar flares, and uh, can they yeah. also affect us in a positive way? Not only make us go crazy at times? Yeah, listen to me carefully. Energy of all kinds is hitting your planet. You can change it into very positive energy. When it comes in, it's actually neutral in some ways. It's just scientific energy, some of it. You know what I'm saying? It's not like bad or good. It may cause this or that. But it's not intended to be negative or positive. You can put your own 
uh, spin on that energy as it comes in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. That's very good. Very yes. Good. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. So, yes, use the energy in a positive way as it's coming in. Don't let it be, don't turn it negative. I'm sure none of you will do that. But it is natural energy. It is natural, and you can make it positive or negative if you want. But it does affect the earth in somewhat of a negative way. But if you look at it, it's just being itself. And it's affecting the earth the way it would affect the earth in a natural state. Do you understand that? Yes, actually, we will accept it, accept it as neutral. And we know yeah. we can multiply it either in one direction or another. It depends on our choice. Okay, good. Yes, good. yes. Good. So when you feel this energy, if it comes to you in a way that is not pleasant, try to make it into a pleasant, because it depends on how you're feeling at the time when you exactly. experience it, obviously. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, good. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Kisses and love. <laughs> I yeah. know you love it. <laughs> oh. Yes. Good. Yeah, reptilian nibbles to you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. That that was from me. Yeah, yeah. We don't do the kissing thing like you do. Yeah. It's not, not the same. No, no. It's a more Eskimo like, yeah. You know, rub rub noses or whatever you want to call it. Yeah. No tongue. No tongue. Yeah, none of that. Yeah, you can bite it off. You can bite it no, off. No, more teeth than tongue, actually. <laughs> so, On the you know, tail. The good cleaning is necessary. <laughs> ah, so there you go. All right. Did you you have a question? <laughs> There's someone here with a question in the room. Oh, thank you for making me laugh. Oh. Uh, Lacerta, she's a reptilian female. What species is she with? Lacerta is a zespot. A zespot. Yes. Lacerta is speaking to Earth now. Uh, more zespods are now starting to speak to Earth. I am not the only one in Sparkle started speaking to earth and now lacerta is speaking to earth that is a female zest point i'm the only male so far so yay me but um <coughs> there's a couple female reptilians from my planet from my species i should say that are are talking to humanity now very good yeah what other questions are there? What about your sex life? Could you tell us something? Oh yeah, hot. hot. <laughs> but um, are you not, well, what do you are you not old? old? Yeah. <laughs> Gee, you yeah, I'd have to take a film of it probably. Okay. Yes. So like uh, rolling around in the water sort of thing, you know. <laughs> not a picnic lunch kind of thing, no. Uh, a know, lot of room is needed. Humans, humans love things like that. You could make billions. Yeah, probably. Yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah. Oh, please. Oh. <laughs> um, I can't even describe to you in human language what making love is like with us because it's a lot of movement. A lot more... Uh, well, you humans have a lot of movement, some of you, not all of you, I, I, I don't know. I guess missionaries don't have that much movement. But anyway, um, but yes. We got, uh, we um, humans, we humans, we got more like a slapping like a penguins. What was that? Slapping like the penguins. Oh, penguin. Oh, yeah. They're That's not what fun I would describe. But anyway, That's what I would describe. Um, but yeah, ours is a lot of movement, a lot of rolling. Uh, there's a lot of rolling back and forth involved. Uh, what else can I tell you? 
It's not something I usually talk about. It's been a while for me. Uh, I haven't done that for quite a while. Uh, but it was fun at one time. Yeah. So, so you did uh, like it. Yeah, yeah. I'm getting older now. So, yeah. After you change yeah. your body, uh, after you leave your body, would you, is you uh, wish to become reptilians again or you would like to be somebody else? Would I like to be something other than reptilian? Yes, after you leave the, this body. I don't know. I'd have to look and see what's out there. All right. Uh, I, you know what? There is that tree species that looks pretty cool. And they they have a pretty interesting life. There's this tree species. They're pretty big. They're very large trees, but they they have they can move all their limbs. They can use them like arms, and and they have different qualities that uh, many species don't have. That I would like to see what it's like to be one of them. And they do speak, and they have telepathy, and they. <laughs> have uh, mental acuities that are really quite good. You're speaking for the fourth fourth density mm -hmm. in fourth dimension, yeah. Yeah, they're in fourth density. Yes. Uh, yeah. Pass, pass them our invitation to speak one day. Yeah, yo, talk to a tree. Yeah, I'm sure they'll be happy to. Maybe we'll see. You'd have to ask for them. Yeah. Okay. Any other questions? Are you done with me for now? Yeah. You're, you're good. You're good. <laughs> I'm good. Uh, well, when you were, I have a question if nobody has. When you were in the human body in your time on this yeah. planet, did, did you feel attraction to human women? Not really. I didn't really uh, feel much sexuality. The body that I took over was, um, yeah, he, it was male and it was in the military and stuff. And, and yes, he did have a, some of a sexual drive. but And there was some interaction for cultural purposes <laughs> but um yes it was it was entertaining but it wasn't something that i really enjoyed that much i enjoyed more of the interaction i enjoyed um of uh, the leadership i enjoyed learning different things but yes there was a sexual aspect to my being there but it wasn't the main purpose I was there, and so I kept it under perspective. And I knew that it could, you know, it felt good, yeah. And I knew that that could become a sort of a addiction of sorts if I would let it, but I didn't want that. I needed to stay focused. The other thing was drinking. Uh, the drinking, I could drink everything they had there and not get too drunk. So uh, that was one thing. I used to drink my soldiers under the table, as it was called. And no one could out drink me because it didn't affect me the same way because my DNA in, in the human body was not the same, sort of. So um, I was like, and I, I actually enjoyed watching them change personalities in front of me it was like hilarious so that was one thing that i thought was fun <laughs> maybe i maybe i shouldn't have been that cruel at times but it was fun to watch the changes because <coughs> i didn't change so i was able to have a perspective that they couldn't have <laughs> Did you attract people the way you do here in the webinars? Not really. They thought I was an asshole. I got called that quite a bit. Behind my back, of course. Otherwise, I'd be 
I they'd be doing 50 push-ups because I made it to uh, some leadership positions in the army. I was a born leader there, so I made it to staff sergeant, like no, like real quickly, and then sergeant, and then I I didn't want to go any higher than that, so so I stayed there. I was offered higher positions, but um. A higher position, I should say, one higher. But uh, I didn't take it because uh, I knew that my time was almost up, and um, and I wanted to stay closer to the uh, the the uh, training elements. Why are yeah. you not attracted? Why are you not attracted to take human body in next life and move on to Tara heart to higher dimension? Well, the human body is very frail compared to mine, and it gets a lot more illnesses. And uh, watching them get drunk under uh, so bad and being sick and everything, I didn't really. That didn't really make me attracted to being a human in my next life. Let's put it that way. So, but maybe one day, I will. I will do that again. But. Uh, no, I don't think my next life will be human, no. But you, you see, guys are can... too frail. You well, guys are well, too frail. Well, well, just listen. Now, yeah. you can underst now you can understand when we take this weak body, that is actually not a sign of weakness, but tremendous strength that we put us in this vulnerable situation. And still oh, absolutely. Has yeah, so... We cannot really say the reptilian cannot laugh about us how weak we are because we are actually not. Let me borrow a phrase from the late 60s. More Please. power, baby. <laughs> yes. So you put yourself in that position. That's good. I understand it. And it is honorable and admirable. And I will do it sometime again in the distant future probably, but not right now. <laughs> but I do admire the humans. That's why I'm here. I, I wouldn't be talking to yes. you if I didn't, I didn't respect I and admire you. I love many of you. Uh, and many of you are close to my little scaly heart. So Yes, when you, when you became a tree and we are still alive, please tell us so we can come all together and hug you. Big Very tree, good. all of us. Yes. <laughs> I will. Well, okay. Yeah. We'll see if in that's the, possible. Yes. In the astro. In the astro. Yeah. In the <laughs> astro. Yes. In the tree. <laughs> yes. All right, then. Very good. Quindo. Yeah. Yes. Hey, how how are you? Hello. Um, <laughs> is there is there any gossip you're allowed to tell us? I already gave you so much gossip that I'll probably get uh, kicked in the butt for it later. Okay. About the the government meetings still going ahead. They're what? You're sort of soft. Say that again. Is the government meeting still going ahead? Is the government still going ahead? Meetings. Oh, yes. On the 31st of May, that's when the first day of meeting is. And that will last for five days. I usually it lasts longer. They usually end up doing an entire week. But they've the first they used to schedule it for three days, then they scheduled it for four days. Now it's five days, so it's getting longer all the time. They have more things to discuss, and there's more countries involved. So, and more people want to speak, more humans want to talk. So, they are giving more people opportunity to speak. But last time, I will tell you. There were like four people speaking about site to site, and there was at least three more that wanted to speak on that, and they shut down those talks there. They let three or four speak, 
and they wouldn't let the rest of them talk about it because they were like, we're not ready, we're not there yet. So uh, there were certain things about um, medications and stuff. They There was a lot of people wanting to talk about that too, about all the different uh, things that they had for cures for diseases, and they shut them down a little bit too. So not everyone got to talk at the last meeting. So they are making a um, they're making a uh, a resolution or, or a bringing in the thought that more people should be able to speak if they want to, and they shouldn't be shut down by the governments. So I don't know if that's gonna fly, but we'll see. Yeah, yeah. You have any more questions? Yeah, is President I Trump? Yeah, they're starting to call him Trumpet. Because all he does is trumpet things. He's full of Trump. He just full of proclamations and information. Uh, but yes, exactly. he's going to be there supposedly. Yes. Good. Let's hear what he trumpets it about then. Yes. I, he's the last meeting he was there also for, as an introductory, but he only stayed one day. He did not really care for that kind of meeting. He was a little freaked out by it. Uh, but this time he's probably a little more prepared. So we'll see what he has to, to say. And, and actually, the whole world is waiting to hear what he has to say. They are. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. They are waiting. I'm serious. Uh, they some of the countries are very afraid of him because he knows how to handle money, and they're afraid that he'll get their hands on theirs. <laughs> All right, go go ahead. I'm just wondering um, what he's going to do about the um, the drugs and um, that the cartel. No. <laughs> no. What drugs are you talking about? Well, I was thinking about all the drug companies um, that. Uh, oh yeah. Because that's he, why your humanity does not want all these cures to come out. Right. It would destroy the economy for sure. Pharmaceuticals, <laughs> doctors. Uh, surgeries, hospitals, you would lose great, great amounts of employment. And so they said, no, it's not possible to do that now. Well, we're but already living. Yeah. yeah. Because they're, they're interested in the, keeping the people employed, but also the big profits that they're making from people's diseases is enormous. Yes, and even other things. They charge like an arm and a leg for a Viagra. Jeez. Um, <laughs> you know, they will pay it. And now, I mean, how much does it cost to make one of those things? Probably a, a nickel? And they're selling them for like uh, 20 bucks or 30 bucks each or more? Oh, they make a fortune. A yeah, yeah. Some medications, thousands and thousands of dollars. The insurance brings it down to three dollars, affordable maybe, but they're charging your insurance company two thousand dollars for something that you're paying three dollars at the a checkout for. Not me. It's a, it's a racket. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Grindel. Yeah. You're welcome. Hi, yeah. Grindel. It's Wendy again. Who I Wendy. Yeah. Um, since you said you were part of military, military. Military was what I was interested in on your planet and was my experience and was something that I learned a great deal about humanity as I was 
doing it because, of course, you have weekend passes and a time where you can go out into the world and see things. And I didn't always have to wear the uniform, but I, uh, I learned quite a bit about humanity by being there for the time I was there. I was there like eight years and in the, well, no, actually it was nine, nine years in the military. <clears throat> So some of the, do you have bloodlines that still exist at this time in the military from way past when we were? Yeah, the bloodline that I was part of, yes, when I left that body, he went on to have a family and all that. But it's not my bloodline, it's a human bloodline. So I was a walk-in, as you call it. And um, he was agreeable to it. But he is sworn to secrecy. Actually, I think he just passed not long ago. Uh, okay. Thank you for your time, Brindle. And I love you for who you are, Brindle. You're a wonderful being. Thank you. Yeah. I should have my own stand-up. I should do my own stand-up routine. I could kill... Not literally. No, the only trouble is, in your stand-up, you'd be giving away so many secrets. You yeah, might. well. <laughs> you have to make some sacrifices. But I guess I shouldn't. But, you know, <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. All right, I won't say that. Okay. I'll be good. I'll be good. I haven't been good so far, but I will be good now. You say that, but yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God, the spotlight, you or me. <laughs> <laughs> I never asked you, how, how long do you leave your species? 200 years? Uh, what would you say? How long do you leave? What lifetime span? Oh, 250 to 280 years human time. Yeah, but in the 4D reality, time is passing very differently than ours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our years are different than your years. We have um, <clears throat> longer years than you have. So in our span, it's not that long. In human years, it's that long. <clears throat> but if you go by our years, we live like, uh, maybe 200. We, yeah, 200 years. Yeah. I'm getting confused. Back and forth. Um, I, I want to ask, uh, in the 4D uh, on Earth, which has been already created, uh, is the geographic... You're breaking up, honey. I can't hear you. The fourth dimension on Earth has already been created. Yeah. My my question is: Is the geographical, the the geographic chart the same as we see it? The mountains and the yeah. the rivers. Mm -hmm. Only only the plants. But in the fourth dimension, you will see it differently. You will see them. It will be a very similar terrain as what you're used to in the third dimension. But there is another whole topography in the fourth dimension. Now, some things will overlap, but you do not see that in the third dimension, and you will not see the overlap from the fourth dimension either. So, but there is a whole other uh, dimension on top of this one, and another dimension on top of that, because that, that's the way it is. It's just like all the chakras are in the, in the root. All the dimensions are in one place on top of each other but you can't see them until you're in them and therefore space is even has even more and greater uh beings and sensibilities than you can possibly imagine okay good good to know yeah all right well are you tired of me yet Never. Oh, well, thanks.
Could I have one question, Grindel? Very good. What do you got? <laughs> um, I had a when I was in a meditation and I had a realization in a in an idea of myself as one, as the only one that I experience. Uh, I had a realization of, in a sense, time. The time, of course, doesn't exist in a linear idea that humans yeah. have belief. And everything was basically instant without any loading time, so to speak. What I believed in, in the moment, I was actually experiencing that moment. So when I was changing the inside, the outside automatically had that belief structure. So in a sense of what we were speaking about before, that yeah. people, human on this planet are doing crazy stuff against whatever themselves and stuff like that. that would yeah. mean somewhere inside of the feeling that I have, I'm working against myself in that one that I am. So I, as one, having the outcomes of that reality that we are experiencing in this world is that uh, okay what you did was this let me break it down to something very simple you moved into your energy reality do you understand what I'm saying your energy reality is endless everything is made of energy and God is the original energy and you moved into the uh, reality of oneness with the universe and the energy that's there and so you could see things in a greater way than you could have possibly imagined and, and it felt very different didn't it <clears throat> it felt very real and very different yes it, yes it was real because you are made of energy everything is made of energy but we cannot define that in our belief systems in some ways because we don't experience it as energy. But when you break yourself down and bring yourself to your lowest common denominator, you are pure energy. Does that make sense to you? Yes. And that is what, in some ways, you are experiencing. But you were also not only experiencing that, but you were experiencing the layers of thought process that are part of all of, e of all eternity. Do you understand what I'm saying? I feel you. I un understand what the feeling is. I, I feel you. Is that close to what, am I explaining it properly? Yes, my question in that sense of energy that I am. Yes. In my belief of what is, am yes. I ex experience exactly that what I am believing until I change my belief or if I'm influenced from from another energy so to speak which is just another energy of myself changing myself as All the right. process of God hiring hiring up All right, I'm saying your belief systems come from a million or two million or ten million years ago up to this point and what you believe now is the congo uh, is all those belief systems put together and so you are able to change your belief if you wish but remember this you and your belief system are still only a perception of the full entire entity that you are. So your belief system may change in the future to be even greater than it is now. <coughs> Does that make sense to you? Yeah, thank you. But Thank you, you are a great being and you have great perception and your belief system is always growing. Do you know what the major thing that changes a belief system is? 
experience. Now you've had that experience of being energy. It's changed your belief system once again to something even greater and more um, all-encompassing. And one quick last question. Um, yeah. As for a long time, I've been feeling uh, a lot of energy in my solar plexus, and it's still very close to me, this energy. Yes. And it makes my heart beat very fast and very quickly and very often. I, I, I am aware that this is sort of happening to me. Yes. Um, Will this continue? Right. Yes, I can. You want to know what's going on? Yeah. All right. Let me tell you that in your third dimension, um, it's as you move up the levels of evolution, you experience your dimension in the way that uh, your society has set it up in the sense that Society is in a solar plexus mentality, meaning that in the solar plexus is where your drive is, is where your uh, energy is for life at this time. If you look, the root is survival and, and uh, grounding and things of that nature. And then the sacral is the creative the me the mentally understanding creativity and the creative awareness that you have and and the building of your world through a creative thought process and the solar plexus is the planning of your world the planning of all things and that's where your civilization is as a whole in a solar plexus mentality where anger and drive and things of this nature are very prominent. You are evolving to a heart uh, understanding, and that is why you are feeling the way you are feeling. Do you understand that? Yeah. You are evolving, and that is why you are feeling that your solar plexus and your heart are, are joined in some way humanity is moving into the heart when they reach telepathy they'll be more into a heart sensation they'll be more in a human feel for one another a human desire to help one another or and be more calm about what is all around and how to be more civil and so you are moving there ahead of schedule in some ways does that make sense to you yeah it makes sense to me. very good there's so much more i could tell you but we only have limited time and i'm only one reptilian and i'm very so I'm, I'm very thankful for that. i understand you and you are moving in a very great uh emotional way in a in a very evolutionary way to your next level already. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you so much and thank You're you all. Bye-bye. Have a wonderful day. Thanks, Grindel. Hey, are you ready for somebody else yet? No. Yes. All right. There's somebody, one more person that has a quick message, I think. I'm not sure. They're saying, you didn't give me much time. <laughs> hey, I have a big mouth. What can I say? All right. I will let them in. Hold on. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. I've worked out the tail detail, so it doesn't hurt as much. So that's good. Just to let you know, not that you care. Right? Yeah. We do care. I care. No, thank you. I'll send you a Valentine next year. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 
все. Greetings, I am Tukur. Welcome. I have just come to tell you that the meetings that are coming up very shortly, if any of you want to volunteer to speak or be a part of them, please let me know, and I will add you to the roster. There are some of you, such as Sheer and Liney and others, Christine, that are already on the rosters, but if any of any others of you want to uh, come along, and JD, uh, you're also there, but and Ellie, um, many of you um, can volunteer just to be there. You do not have do not have to speak if you do not want to, but just to have you there as a support uh, for the group would be nice. Are there any questions? All right, I believe we're running out of time. No, yes. we have time. We have time. We have one. Takara? Yes. This is Marlene. I would like to be part of the roster, please. And who is this? It's Marlene. Marlene, thank you. We will add you to it. Thank you. And me too, me too, me too. Oh, Max, you're already on the roster. Of course, thank you. Yes, you would like to be part of it. Hi, okay, can you hear me? A, okay, there's a question in the room here. One moment. Please come closer. I, uh, I just wanted to know um, if you could just give us a, uh, a, a brief list of what your topics are going to be. She would like to know a brief list of the topics that will be discussed at the world meetings. Is there, uh, did somebody else say something first? Yeah. All right. Some of the topics that will be discussed will be these. Site-to-site -site transport, medical, bringing people to the ship for medical attention, site-to-site -site also. Um, uh, talks about uh, exchange programs for the future, when, when finally uh, there are those that are going to want to ex uh, come here and we go there. Also, writing the rules and regulations for this kind of action. We are being very proactive and wanting to get these kinds of uh, things done ahead of time, but your, uh, your nations are not always very cooperative with that. But we have a couple of the rules already because we've sort of uh, told them what we were expecting and they told us what they were expecting. Other things are what kind of exchange programs for minerals and things that we are, are asking for. We also are talking about the hybridization programs, the, children, the children's hybridization program and the series hybridization program which is taking of DNA and turning it into medication for those other species that may need it we're also talking about um, nonviolent communications with some of these countries because they seem to have um, the thought that our agenda is to attack or for annihilation of the planet or takeover or something we always do a start off with a very peaceful agenda a very treaty like understanding of why we are there and gathering and of that nature also we we go over the galactic laws with humanity to let them know what is and is not being done to help them and to keep them in check and to keep the aliens that are not friendly in check. And uh, we talk about the Prime Directive also and how that works with humanity. We go over many of these things every time. 
that we speak to the to humanity because it is necessary for us to uh, make clear our intentions and how we are working. If there are any changes in our policies with them, we will discuss that. We will discuss anything that they bring up to discuss. And many times it's uh, they want us to interfere with uh, some of their negative wars or things, but we cannot uh, do that. We cannot, that is part of the prime directive as well. But there are many things that we do discuss with your peoples, and there are probably a couple subjects that I forgot to mention. But that is mostly what we talk about. Is there any other any other uh, things that you believe we should bring up that we haven't mentioned so far? Yeah, uh, the exchange program. You possibly want to offer to exchange uh, politicians or scientists for a visit? Yes, we already mentioned that. Yes, mm -hmm. we do. We do talk to them about the exchange program, and uh, at this time, it's greeted rather coolly. But it's not. It's not one of the topics that is uh, a turnoff, as you will, for some of your countries. But some of them are very interested in that. Thank you. Yeah, it's occur. Yes. There's yeah, something that I think that you should uh, talk about uh, in the government meeting about uh, certain uh, things that are going to come in 2018 that's going to be present here on Earth. You know what I'm speaking about. So oh, I yeah. think that would be a very uh, urgent matter, even. Yeah, so, so and I forgot to mention first contact and. Uh, what is the word? Disclosure. I didn't even mention that, but we do discuss that as well. Plus the things that will be happening in the near future. Yes. Thank uh, you, Shir. No problem. By the way, um, Ganesh just confirmed us that uh, certain messages about the cabal uh, have been um, Certain rules and regulation are now expired, and the Syrians are going after the cabal. Is it Syrians form the portion of it the? It is true Union? because they have. The problem is, and I must be very careful about how I speak about this, but there have been infractions to galactic law by your people, and so. There are those that are being sent to see if this such situation can be straightened out. Okay. And I was, that is the most diplomatic way I can say it. And is it a Syrian I think form? was much more, uh, said it much better in some ways, but we are more restricted in what we say than Grindel, for we have legal bindings with your countries and in order for us to stay within those legal bonds we cannot say as much as other aliens perhaps could say and we do not want to be in any trouble with any of your political uh agendas understood thank you very very much and it's always awesome to me to speak with you thank you for coming Thank you very much. And it is always good to speak to you as well. We are indebted to humanity for your wonderful species is so good in, in many, many ways. And um, I know that um, sometimes it is difficult to deal with us because we try to bring you as much as we can, but we cannot always deliver on our, some of our promises, and we feel bad about that. But it is not because we are trying to deceive you in any way, but that because sometimes our expectations uh, are too high, and your governments are not allowing us to be ourselves in many ways, but that is all right. We will deal with it for now and move forward. 
everything will be overcome at some point. It will, and it will be a wonderful time of celebration when all of you have become part of the neighborhood, the galactic neighborhood, I should say, because that is what we are really looking forward to, because that is when we can actually really talk and be really friends. There are those of you that I am friends with, from a distance, from this distance. And there are some of you that can tr transport yourselves astrally to the ships and things of that nature. And so we can speak that way. But talking face to face is what we're really looking forward to. Um, the curb, it's Elena. I. Greetings. I would say greetings and I would say, um, because I forget to mention this when I come and visit the colonies, um, I need some hybridization of grades um, on my body in order to, in order to, to fight up with the weight I've gained, because I know it's a bit, some of the hybridizations uh, messed up my metabolism. and. We can help you with that. I will come and talk to you. I yes. will come and give you a scan and see what is going on. Most yes. hybridizations do not affect humans in a negative way, but only in a positive way. But did it mess up your female hormones? Is that the part that is messed up? I would say I became more relaxed and more in a, in a low dimension, so this relaxed my metabolism. I see. We will check it out. Okay, the car. Much love, and I will see you when I see you. Much love to you, and we will check you out uh, very shortly here. Once you go to bed, which is you, you are at a later time stamp than this area, so you will be heading to bed sooner than they will. So we will check you out at that time. Ikarakwa ashram vizani, kachabya te paravati, noko wakwa senza, eli. Ehwa shana ehwa hashunwa peta na riha tuwa hashunwa ka. Thank you, I appreciate that. Um, Secure, go ahead. Go ahead. Can I go ahead, Matt? Yes. Yep. Takura, this is Marlene. Um, this will be my first meeting. Um, uh, as support, is there any protocol that I should know about prior? We will let you know everything you need to know when you arrive. Thank you. You will not um, be there the whole time because you will only come in the astral. So it will be during your sleep periods. You may be only there for a couple days or you may be there one, uh, all, all days, it's up to you. When we come to pick you up astrally, you will let us know if you are in the right frame to come that day or not. Thank you. Well, I, uh, do you think that I would need a harmonization before? No, you will be coming in the astral, which is in your perfect state. There will be no blemishes. The astral body is in the perfect shape, a spiritual shape, so you do not need to make any improvements on the astral. Thank you. You're welcome. It Hi, is good to have you aboard. Hello. Thank you, Takara. You're welcome. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to step on your tongue. That is all right. Um, I no. wanted to come to the astral plane when you have the meeting and also come as an observer for the rest of the time. Is that possible to do so? If that is what you desire, we will come to uh, pick you up at in your sleep periods. Yes, that's what I uh, would like to do for that time frame and observe uh, and to understand the time, uh, understand Correct. your colleagues. There are many that just go to observe because it just shows that there are many people interested in what the world thinks and in alien uh, friendships and things of this nature. It is good as, with as many humans coming 
in astral as possible to be seen by the population of your governments. Thank you. Very well. You uh, mentioned my name. Am I there um, only as an observer? Sometimes you do speak, Christine. You have a very strong some things. <laughs> Good thing I don't remember. <laughs> it is all right. You do a very nice job. You do actually do not care for public speaking, but in the astral, it brings it makes you more relaxed. Thank you. Blessed be. Blessed be. <clears throat> Anyone else? Hey, Takar. Yes. Greetings. Could you please add me to the list? Absolutely, I will. Thank you. And much love. Thank you. You're already there. I have a, I have a blessing for you to occur. Can I? Thank you. It is time for blessings. I believe oh. our time is done. Is it uh, not? How about... I think we can do another 5-10 minutes. Uh, what is... Um, the first question is um, about Slava's mother. So Slava's mother has a health condition, and she needs to decide to take an, to take to undergo a big operation. And uh, yes. Lord, she already advised for that. I uh, I invite your, your your help with her health. We have already uh, are aware of it, and we will send an infusion to help with the safety of the operation. We will not be able to take part in it as such, but we can send some protective energy for when she goes into the operating area. Wow. Thank you much. Uh, You're welcome. Another topic is, um, I have that email which I set up three years ago, four years ago, sign up to go at gmail.com right here, right here. And um, several more people asked me if they, you know, about they also volunteer to participate in the meeting in the government meeting on the third. Yes, uh, they three, have been four, three days ago. So I suggest um, you check that email, and I suggest they send the email to that to that address. Yes, they have been included. Anyone who writes and asks for inclusion will be it will be honored. Also, there is on the website down below, hukula.org, there is a menu apply and they can apply through a form. So that could be an anonymous application. They also can apply there. It's also- As we've read through that. all of these things and they are approved. Thank you much. You are welcome. Taka. Yes, Lai. Um, You know, when we go to these meetings, whether we just um, sit on the side or whatever, do um, yes. uh, the other humans actually see us? How do they see us? They, they see you in astral, just like they see you on the colonies. Oh, okay. Um, I'm talking about the, the, the people from the, the governments. Do they see us or not? And how do they see you, the people of the governments? Yeah, if we go to these government meetings... <clears throat> they see the, that there are many entities there, but they do not see you as, uh, they know that the, you are people, you are in energy spheres, but they do not see you as people until you actually speak, and then they can see ex exactly what you look like. Oh, that, that's really, really interesting. Have I, have I ever personally spoken, just a matter of interest? Only once. And it was about the hybridization program. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. And they, they do know the identity of the people who participate, right? No, not, they do not know the identities of the people, no. Oh. They do know a few of them because they are people of notoriety in other ways. But for the most part, most people are anonymous. Uh, I don't think it's that anonymous. 
because you... Well, not for you. You actually announced who you were. <laughs> you have no idea why. You actually, you, uh, there is a few of you that actually, when you spoke, gave your names. And that is all right, too. Hope they won't come here and do whatever they want. No, they do. They will not. It is part of the uh, agreement that uh, no one will be harmed or no one will be bothered. No, oh, okay. But if I will meet someone from my government, he could recognize my face. <laughs> Perhaps, since you hmm. since you did speak almost every time. No, okay. good to know. Yes. You speak on a lot of topics. Anybody All else? Right. Yes, Takur, yes, Marlene. Uh, have I been to those meetings? It seems I can't recall in my mental, but my body and my feeling says that I've somehow been to... Yes. You actually were at the very last one for the first time. Oh, thank you. Yes, but now that you, uh, you were actually already on the roster, but you asked to be added, so I, I just said yes, but you are already added. Many people are on there that they, some, I guess, do not even know. So I was at the one in December, right? December 2016? Yes. Have I brought up any any topics? Actually, you wanted to, but you were one of the ones that they did not allow you to speak. You were talking, you wanted to talk a little bit more about the hybridization program, but several people had already spoken about it, and so they did not let uh, the last four people speak. Oh, I, I understand. But this time we are wanting everyone to speak, no matter how long it takes. Thank you. That's uh, that's uh, evolving. <laughs> yes, a lot of people wanted to speak on disclosure as well and first contact. That was another very popular subject matter. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Yes, I've, uh, these two topics are also very close to my being. <laughs> yes. Thank Excellent. you. Thank You're you. welcome. I will, how much more time do you have, Max? I think it's a good time to close up. Wonderful. JD, I believe you have the first blessing. Is there anyone else? Max, did you want to control that? Of course. As I uh, yeah, sure. I will be going. Thank you for your attention. And I hope that I was able to give you some useful information. Yes, thank Much you. Much Very nice to have you. Much love. Namaste as well. Thanks for your time. Namaste. JD, go for it. What I speak to you of the energies that exist in every portion of the universe and the light that goes along with it. Let it shine in places that it 
is only dim at this time and be brighter. Let us make known to the universe this small planet is to be a ball of light as bright as the sun at some point. Life as we know it on this planet is changing and we love that there is great hope and great expectation and we pray that those of you that are a part of this will be proud in the sense that you are a great being at this time. Thank you. מרוע לטוב, לתקווה אנחנו נהפוך, מי ייתן ואלוהים וכל קולקטיבי האל ויואבה יסתכלו עלינו ויתמכו בנו ויתקפו אותנו תמיד למקום הטוב, למקום שבו אנחנו הכי טובים, ותמיד שנהיה תחת כנפי השכינה, תחת קדושה, תחת האור הלבן הנצחי של יואבה. That was Hebrew, wasn't it? Yes. Yes. There is, and that has a message in itself, and there is another message from it, and it is that God is with you at all times, and his love ab abounds, and is, is everywhere that you take it. So take this love and be the example of it so that it might shine in a greater way than it ever has before and uplift those that are downtrodden and heal the sick and of spirit and of health. Beautiful. <clears throat> God be blessed and praised for all things, for all light, for all love, and for the gratitude given to him by all. Let us all be an example. Let us all pray to God for his continued mercy and grace. Thank you. Anyone else? Uh, Angie here. Yes. Okay. Go ahead. Aya shania tatwa ni tisia wa anani ishishia ni anetwa aya ishashini aya nita Shishini ya ohida, Ashishini ya yetiania, Ashashwani ya yetiania. Since the beginning, we have seen God in different personalities and in different lights, but now we see him as even a greater being than ever before, and we ask that he be with us so that our purpose and our lights will continue to grow and expand and heal the galaxy and beyond. Anyone else? I have one more. Thank you. Yes. Nakataya wasi kiananawa koro uka shaki tiyanana hoyo wasi shawa kosh hukata. Yanana wasi kishia waria kashu wakuta kayana wasi. Oria wanasia kia wasi kia nanana na wasi shia waro. Oyo uka shaki tia na wasi kishia waria kana wakushu kutoshu waka. 
kia wasia kia waria na 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 wasi kisi ya na 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 wakia oya wasia shia waria na 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 wakia wanana oria kasi ya shia wana namaste ah take a look inside have you been generous as to how much love and light you have been giving to others have you been generous with the things of the spirit that you need to give to others have you been generous and loving even to yourself ah uh, take heed of all the things within you because that is who you are in your full essence and as you are everything within you that is what comes out of you so look inside once again and purify those things that are of love and are of understanding and wisdom and you shall be the brighter of the lights that shine in the distance anyone else All right, thank you all. Um, I think we are done with the main part. Uh, Jim, there is a question about. Oh, anyone? What is it? There was a question about uh, on on Friday. What do we want to do? Which class do we want to do? Friday, eleven thirty p.m. Uh, no, a.m. Eleven thirty a.m. Uh, in the morning, Eastern time. About twelve thirty my time. What is it? Oh, is it's it 12? 12.30 my time. Oh, sorry, yeah. 12.30 Eastern time. 12.30 Eastern time. Yes. Right. Uh, what do yes. we do? Which class? Is it Galactic Reiki? Um, no, that's not finished yet. Uh, she did give an introduction, but she's going to keep that uh, information quiet for now all right then so what can we do other than that uh let's continue channeling i guess okay very good there'll be another channeling class she needs to get the information all into a very organized order okay before she does anything else all right we'll do a channeling class uh coming friday at 12 30 p.m eastern time very good and the information in here is here, here at hukolo.org. That says signup.org. And other other sign smaller up. smaller letters say hukolo.org. <laughs> oh, hukolo. Oh, way at the bottom there. Under, Under the sign up logo at Gmail, uh -huh. there is a hukolo.org. Yes. All right. Thank you, everyone. It's tiny, tiny. I couldn't see that on this screen. I can see it on that one. All right. All righty then. Thank you, everybody. Much love to you. And I will be uh, seeing you soon. All right. Okay. I can understand. Bye. Much love. Much love. Thank you, Mr. Jim. Thank you, Max. Thank everybody. you. Much love. Thank you, Mr. and Mrs. and everyone. <laughs> <laughs> All righty, very good. Hello, everybody in the room. Hi.